Welcome back to America Truck Simulator. Jumping in here today in the Kenner the W900. Going to be picking up a load here from Los Angeles of empty pallets, and we are going to be going to uh, Camp Varne, uh, uh, Arizona. And we are going to jump in here. We're going to go pick up the load since it's right across the street at the Amazon facility. And get this trip on, get this uh, show on the road. And before I start, start up the truck, I kind of just want to go over a few things. And I will, well, I'll actually go over a few things when I start the, the drive for the plans for what I want to do for this channel going forward than me just doing diverse and American truck similar and I kind of want to open the door to more content and eventually maybe see about getting promotions on the channel going and I'll go over some of that stuff when I uh, start this drive so Start up this beautiful Kenworth W900. Get my headlights on. So, a few details about the truck. I had a little glitch with it, so I had to sell it and then get it back. So, motor is a 800 power uh, Cat C16 motor with an 18 speed retarder or transmission. Uh, 396 gallon tank and with uh, the wooden interior classic wooden interior with a wooden wheel and with the uh, thing on it so I am ready to get back it's been a while since I've played this but so I'm gonna start with a few things. Plans for my for this channel going forward. Live streams are still gonna happen, but I'm gonna start focusing on maybe teaming up with folks than just me me drawing on and on. Like American Truck Simulator live streams will still happen. I do plan on doing one soon, but they're gonna start maybe being in the evenings instead of the middle of the day, because my schedule is currently going to change and uh, I'm gonna be doing some stuff outside of the of my house so I'm gonna be doing that three days a week to where I'm gonna try to get content out on days where I am not live streaming or I decide to record content will slow down a little bit until I can figure some stuff out but for now I'm gonna keep trudge, trudging on I'm get I'm also gonna apologize if I uh, cough uh, multiple times uh, wildfire season is just bad up here in the state of Idaho like yesterday we had no smoking area and today is just horrendous to where it's just messing with my sciences on how I feel so if I cough, I do apologize. And it's not my fault, it's no one's fault, it's just things the way things are. And we're just going to work through it. Because that's what we do. But as I was saying, like, so things for diverse, alright? Some things are actually going to change around here on the channel because eventually like Jack kind of gave me the idea to turn my YouTube channel into my personal business to where I can start getting paid promotions people come and be like hey I would like you to do this for us and I would love to start maybe seeing some of that stuff once the channel grows a little bit and to 
I had lost my train of thought. Like, I want to turn this channel into something more than what it is. So, diverse episodes are... So, like, I know in every episode I use a random character. But I am going to start structuring uh, my diverse videos around, like, I'm going to start doing LEO as myself. So, yeah, you'll hear my actual name and you've kind of seen it already. But... I'm going to start doing two main characters. I'm going to start using my 24-7 CEO, Desmond Miles, and using him as my main character. He's kind of been on the back burner for a while. Just because I haven't really had any ideas for a civilian. But, I'm going to start using him and then my character that I'm going to use, use to get in trouble a lot. His name's gonna be Albert Jenkins. He's kind of like the guy who'll get in trouble all the time and stuff like. I pretty much be like the guy who get in trouble by the cops. And then Desmond, yeah, he get in trouble, but he can't really go to jail because it'll ruin the reputation of the 24/7s and the LTDs. And I kind of just want to keep that going. And bring him back. Ezio, like, you might see me use Ezio Miles. He's gonna be put on the back burner for a while. Story goes that he's presumed dead. Because something that happened, and I don't remember what happened. But, Caution, but I want to start the arc, story arc for Albert Caution, Jenkins. So, I'm gonna start doing a little bit more civilian. For DVRP to where I'm going to be switching between doing LEO and Civilian. And doing that. And then you will see me play myself too. As uh, the as SADOT Director. DOT1. To where um, some things are going to come good from that. God, I really do hate wildfires because, like, the last few days I've been having difficulty breathing just because of the wildfire smoke. To where, like, it's kind of hard to breathe. Like, my nose keeps clogging, unclogging. It's just annoying. But, I'm gonna just say this I'm happy to be back making content. I'm going to try my best as the wildfires get worse and get better since we're entering the uh, fall season. Keep left. And look forward to those fall holidays so coming up. Like Thanksgiving, well, I shouldn't say Thanksgiving quite yet, but Halloween, um, I know 9-11 is coming up in a few days. To where, um, I believe a couple of members of DVRP are actually planning to do something special for um, September 11th for what happened back uh, 21 years ago on, in September 11th, 2001. Like, we'll make jokes about 9-11 believe me we do make those jokes but they don't really mean anything for that like I have recently just started made a new loading screen for my uh, DVRP videos so you will see that in the next uh, video that I decide to post for DVRP I'm gonna be recording those over the next few days Please mind the speed. I gotta pull it real quick so that I can cough. Give me one second. Because I can feel a cough itching. So give me one second. Alrighty. 
Alright, I'm good now for a little bit. It's just hard to talk for a while when you constantly got a, uh, when you're constantly having the cough. You gonna let me back, you Peterbilt? Thank you, sir. It's, it's pretty hard right now. Like, I love Idaho, but I hate it during the summer into the fall. Because it's just wildfire season. And with these thunderstorms that blew through a few days ago, it didn't make things better. It just made things worse. But, as I was saying about DVRP, uh, some of that content will change. I should be recording a video actually tonight showcasing the uh, new EUP uniforms for the Los Santos County Sheriff Department and what my thoughts are on that. And I'll be excited to be back on patrol. It's going to be hard though having to talk a lot for that, but we'll work through it. And it's not my fault, it's nobody's fault. Wildfires happen. I get how people in California feel. I also want to say, I do feel sorry for you people over in the UK. And yes, I, I did watch the news about what the Queen Elizabeth. And it is such like a shocker though. To the whole world though. Like that woman, 70 years rolling over the UK, she literally built the modern day foundation for the United Kingdom. And she's an inspiration to like millions and millions of people. And all I can say is, rest in peace Queen Elizabeth. I may be an American, but I do care about people in the world around the world. It's the reason why I joined diverse Caution, role play community. It's because it gives you the experience Go of making on. new friends all over the world. And it's nice to make new friends. And colleagues to work with. But, as I was saying, like, I'm going to start trying to do more videos where I'm teaming up with either some of my personal friends and making content. Or, I'm going to try to team up with Chad here soon for a DVRP live stream doing some fun stuff. So that I can get some of that rub for this channel. God. I might also stop talking for a little bit because I can feel a cough coming on again and I don't really really want to start hacking again. What the hell? What is going on? Give me one save. Ugh. I don't mean the cough. Like, when I say one second, it means I'm a cough. Because I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear my own coughing in the footage. But I'm going to just say this, like I was starting to feel better yesterday, then the smoke blew in this morning, I had to go outside, because I was uh, helping someone with something, but the wildfire smoke is just bad today. Alright, um, what's going on here? Oh, there's, I'm going to let traffic figure itself out.
I see AIs trying to figure it out themselves. Looks like the road's closed off. Huh? Are you gonna go? Go. Or are you gonna let me go? Come on. There you go. I should be able to get back on the freeway. Go straight on. Like this time of year is just hard, but I should feel better soon, hopefully. Go straight on. Like it's no one's fault. Like as I was saying, like wildfires are just natural. They'll happen. Like. Either from a lightning strike or some cause that I know out here are like somebody's catalytic converter is way too damn hot. But. Things are. Um, things are actually going better though. I actually do have a special announcement to make. And you might have seen it in my Discord. And if you do want to join the uh, Discord link will be in the description below. But my announcement is that I am now officially running two monitors instead of a big old flat screen TV that I was running for a, for a good four or five months. I'm happy. Like I am still running a TV though. But is a 35... 5 inch flat screen TV and a 37 inch uh, monitor and and everything runs smooth I'm still Caution, getting used to the dual mind. setup display but I'm happy with it though and hope you guys enjoy this there's gonna be more content Caution, coming out um Please show me some love and support. Trying to eventually turn my channel into a business, kind of like what other YouTubers do. It's kind of like what Chad's doing. To where it will help me out a lot if you guys like, subscribe, comment. <coughs> subscribe and comment. Um, whatever you do, please do not post like pornographic links. To like porn sites in my comments because those types of comments will be helpful review or you will be reported to YouTube I do not play that game and neither does anyone else it's rude it's disrespectful and also when it comes to my live streams it has happened recently please do not be pulling my IP address or anything because that's just like Using like, I'll put this out there. Like, uh, I know some of you guys who have been watching my live streams and seen people try to post information about me. Caution. Yes, I did run a 21 minute and 10 second 5K race a couple years back. All right, that was back when I was in high school four years ago. I'm not getting care about that type of information because it's out there on sites like athletic.net all right that information is public for the whole world to see do I care about it no because it happened back in 2019 and that was my proudest moment in my cross-country season if I had a chance to go back and do it again I probably would beat that time the following year if I tried hard enough. But I couldn't. Because I never got the chance. So. So to say yeah. To put that in the chat and then try to put out like. Things like my mother's name. Like do not put that shit out there. And plus people who watch my content. Do not care about my personal information. Alright. 
Yeah, maybe out there on the internet for everyone to see, but that doesn't mean go to somebody's random YouTube channel, pull their information and put it in their goddamn chat. It, it's rude, and it hurts the credibility of the person who is trying to make content. Such as myself. Like, I enjoy making content. And I'm not going to stop doing it because I enjoy it. Go straight on. And, like, I know some of you people who come over, you watch my footage because I work with Chad. That doesn't mean come over from Chad's stream and start harassing me. Alright? I also would like to put out, too, if I'm doing a DVRP live stream, alright, do not come over to my to my stream and see what I'm doing and stream snipe. That will not be tolerated. Alright? If I catch anyone from diverse, I'm stream sniping, alright? You will be punished. But not by me, but by the administration of DVRP. Alright? I'm not trying to name anyone in particular when I say that. But don't be doing it because it ruins the RP for those who are doing it, especially when we're law enforcement. And it doesn't make sense to stream snipe, like constantly. And I get that you might want to see what that person is up to, but rule of advice, if you're going to watch a person stream and see what they're doing, don't be in game to aim. Be outside of the server doing it. And pretty soon I will be posting um, links on how to join diverse roleplay. I need to ask Chad on. I think I just need to put that to the Nightbot. So next DVRP live stream, I don't know when that will be. But it, all that information will be in the bot. But it might be a little bit of time before I do a live stream. As I said, I'm still trying to get over some sinus issues because of the wildfires out here in the state of Idaho. And I'm not going to lie on stream, like, like... As I said, like, countless of times, like, when I do go out to have my dental procedure done for my wisdom teeth, I will be out for a month, which will mean there will be no content for a while. I don't know when that procedure will be, but I can definitely say this. Take good care of your teeth, because they are really important. And having good oral health is important. I gotta pull over real quick one last time so I can blow out my nose. Cause it is getting hard to breathe again. So give me one second. Alrighty, I am back. Had to blow out my nose, get a swig of water so I'm not coughing. What I do need is to go find some cough drops after this. 
so that I can quit coughing. So by the time this video is up, I hope you guys watch this, because there's some great things coming in the future for this channel. Like, this is going to be like turned into my personal business. Like, I'm still going to do American Truck Simulator content. I'm going to start trying to do some new stuff, like, Grand RP will be on the back burner for a little bit. Until I can find a couple of folks who will be interested in joining me for that. But I hate to say it, like, I kind of like Grand RP for what it is. It's such a great server with, um... It has a good concept, but you need people to actually follow, like, the traffic laws and everything. Because it would make it more legit than people just flying around. Every, uh, couple of seconds. And... And I am looking forward to... I know Rockstar, just a few days ago, has said their, uh, goodbyes to GTA 5 in GTA 5 online meaning that I think we're getting closer to them maybe announcing uh, Grand Theft Auto 6 so it'll be awesome to see um, what that map looks like see what the gameplay looks like and I'm excited for it and I also believe I heard a rumor about playground games so I'm a big fan of the Forza Horizon franchise alright I've played the first one I've played the second one third fourth and I'm currently playing Forza Horizon 5 if you're interested in playing Forza Horizon 5 um, feel free to join the discord and I would love to get together a convoy that's what it's called in Horizon 5. But, get together like Carmi or something and just drive around and have some fun. And, that's what I'm looking to do. But, going back on what I said about the rumor, that most people are saying that Playground Games is planning to end the Forza Horizon franchise with Forza Horizon 6 being based in um, Japan which believe me a lot of people will be excited for that because like Japan is the home to like JDM cars drift like drifting and everything and it would be awesome to see how they do that map like there are people who've made map concepts of it and it would be cool if like playground games would use that concept because it's really cool to see what those people create like and like I also say this though I enjoy what um, playground games has done but one thing I would love to see in Forza Horizon 5 or even in the next gen game with the announcement from DeLorean if all of you know Back to the Future and you know the DeLorean DMC-12 made famous for Back to the Future DeLorean officially came out with three concept cars after 40 years in the making they made the Alpha 5, which in my opinion actually looks pretty cool for an electric vehicle. And still has that 1980s nostalgia, that 1980s feel of the original DeLorean DMC-12. Because the dash is digital but has the original DMC-12 like speedometer in it. And then they made the Alpha 4, which is like their SUV type vehicle. And then they made a Baja concept for 2040, 
And it literally looks like it's out of this world. And if you watch any anything from the Pearson Museum like on TikTok, they do live streams it's like how I got to see those vehicles and gain an opinion on them. And I believe they are there at the Pearson Museum in California till I believe September 15th. And those vehicles are cool though. It's also reading. I'm a big DeLorean fan. I love the DMC 12. I love Back to the Future. But. I'll be excited to see. If they decided to do a short run of their Alpha 2 concept. Because it's a lot of people seem to have liked that, and we're asking DeLorean to make that an actual car. It would be cool to actually see that come into production. But, off of that topic, I'm pretty impressed that DeLorean may have come back in 2022 with their cars. I cough. I dare. I think I need a cough again. Give me one second. Yeah, definitely and find some cough right. drops. And then exit right. I'm sorry if my voice kinda sounds worse than usual too. As I said a lot, it's because exit the right. wildfires, it's not my fault, it's no one's fault. The only thing I can do is avoid going outside for the time being until the smoke clears, right. which might take a while. Hopefully it clears next week. Let's go ahead and get this uh, load dropped off. Get ready to turn left. I hope you guys enjoyed this cruise. I'm sorry about the multiple times turn I had left. stopped because I just had to cough up a lung. It does hurt the cough. Turn and left. it's just... It's horrendous. Oh, that's nice. I hit stop sign. Oops. Other than that, this was a pretty nice drive. Turn left. So pretty much, um, I'm gonna say for for this week, um. I don't think there will be a live stream this weekend or in the next week because I'm still going to be um, healing from the wildfire smoke. So. Oh, that's funny. My truck matches the Amazon trailer. I mean, I might try a live stream. I don't know. I need to As I said earlier, I'm sorry about Queen Elizabeth. To any of my viewers out there in the UK, I do pray. Pray for you guys for the loss of uh, of the queen. I know that's gonna be big for the next couple of weeks. 
Because it's just a shock to the whole world. Like, she's inspired so many people, like... 14 U.S. presidents got to meet the queen in, queen in her time. And it's kind of amazing, though. But also sad to see her go, though. Like, the impact that she has on millions and millions around the world is pretty big. Like, she's in, like, a lot of stuff. Like, James Bond, Cars 2, when she, when she played the Rolls Royce version of her. That was pretty cool. Like, if I had a chance... I would want to meet her. If I had the chance to, I would have. But. Dang it. The truck in the park. And there we go, we have made it to Camp Varney. So we'll, we drove 427 miles, 9 hours, 15 minutes, 89.2 gallons consumed. And that's not a bad drive for this. I thank you guys for watching, I will see you guys in the next uh, video or live stream I decide to put out. Probably will be some uh, videos coming out.